Good morning. This is August 3rd, and this is August 3rd's daily reading um, for the Twin Flame journey. <coughs> Basically. <coughs> um, and I wanted to let you guys know how that book is coming along. Um, I've gotten a lot of clarity for myself, a lot of clarity for everything, and um, so basically, I also wanted to share a um, conversation me and my masculine had yesterday, um, so basically, I got very enlightened over my own codependency issues. Um, um, understood that I was accepting things from a place of not loving myself, etc. And, um, I felt, I feel like that's important, um, because that's part of the whole journey. And I feel like, <clears throat> I've said this before on my channel, that I feel like there are some people who are going to vibe and become in union and um, ascend at the same time, but then there's others that aren't. Um, so anyways, basically, I wanted to answer a few questions that I have asked, asked myself and asked spirit and everything and I, I need clarity on. I wanted to, um, a lot of feminines want to heal their masculine. You can heal your masculine. By doing that, or how to do that, is basically when you heal yourself and you, you know, learn different lessons, that will accelerate them to learn different lessons. But here's the thing, <laughs> okay? If you only try to work through your issues, if the underlying reason is to heal your masculine to come into union, that's not, you're not learning a lesson. That's codependency. You have to come from, you have to want to heal yourself for yourself. That is when you heal your masculine this is true because I've done it when I let my karma go when I realized things in that relationship was toxic he was a narcissist he was mentally abusive he was controlling um he kept me down in a low vibration at all times I was depressed half my marriage I was with him for 12 years I was depressed half my marriage um which caused me to do unhealthy habits and patterns um when I let him go and I realized that that relationship was so toxic and I actually wrote in a journal I have a lot of things I wrote in a journal um that he did that I didn't see and I compared it to a healthy relationship and I was like wow that was not a healthy relationship you know, that was not a loving relationship. That was not a relationship from out of respect. That was, that was him being codependent on me and me being codependent on him. And, and I'm not even going to lie. I, there were times when I was abusive to him. It was this toxic, abusive thing, but it was a lesson for me. It was a lesson for me. Um, to go through that. Now, there were good times. I'm not going to say my marriage was all shit, but there were good times, of course, because he was a person and we loved each other, but we ha both had deep-rooted issues. Um, no, he's not my twin flame, if that's what people are <laughs> going to wonder. No. Um, he was definitely a soulmate, yes. Um, I feel like he was a soulmate, and he got me ready for my DM. Okay. Um, 
because of all the lessons and all of his behaviors. Um, because they are similar. Uh, him and my DM are kind of similar. The only difference is I see now the healthiness and the unhealthiness. My DM has never called me names. He's never put me down. He's never made me feel dependent on him. He's never, he's always encouraged me to be independent, encouraged me to be successful on my own, encouraged my independence. My ex never encouraged my independence. He always told me I'd never make it without him, even though I paid half the bills, over half the bills at times. I made more money than he did. Um, he told me he liked me heavier, knowing that I never like to be heavy. And I actually, by the way, on my um, healthy eating this week, and not even exercise, I mean, exercising, yes, but like more for my inner to exercise, not even really for my outer. I've lost five pounds already, and I started Monday. It makes me feel so much better. Um, but anyways, he kept me at a weight that I wasn't happy with, um, knowing that it caused me depression. But I did it to please him because if I had lost weight, and when I did lose weight, um, after my first son, I lost like 70 pounds. It t I, I mean, I really tried. I, I was, you know, I had a six pack. I was such in great shape. And he told me I was too athletic. And he wasn't attracted to me. So then I gained 50 pounds. And I stayed in that body frame that I am now to please him. Because I was codependent. Because I didn't want him to cheat on me. Even though he did cheat on me. Um, that isn't self-loving. So those are the lessons that I learned. I learned all of that. I released him. Let him go. Um, my divorce should be final soon. And when I found, when I started purging that emotion and I got rid of um, pictures I had hanging up in my house still of him, when even when he was gone, um, had my wedding dress still, had everything, um, I got rid of it but I, I couldn't release it. There were, there was months I couldn't let go of it. When I finally did, I didn't even tell my masculine, but he had come to me and he was like, I'm starting to detach from my home. I'm starting to feel, and I didn't even tell him. And it was just weird. He was mirroring me, you see? So that's what I mean by you can heal him if you want to heal yourself. I wasn't ready to let that wedding dress go. I wasn't ready to let those pictures go, take them down. I said no. And even though I knew that it was keeping me stagnant, I didn't care. Because I wasn't ready. When I was ready, he st and I did move and I progressed, he mirrored me. So Divine Feminines, when you really look into yourself and start doing your inner work and realize that you have a mission and you have to do something better for the planet, then that is when you will come into your own and you'll start healing yourself and then he'll mirror you. And I know I will tell you this, his, <laughs> his progression He's always lagged behind me because I am the stronger one of the two. His progression is escalated because I'm healing myself first. Even, I mean, it would, and, it, and if he heals himself first, it would heal me. And then, um, and then my, my lesson would escalate. Basically, when you learn a lesson and you heal something and then he goes through it, he goes through it at a much faster pace because you've already done it. So you really help him and vice versa. Um, he's helped me through lessons also. Um, but I always, it all, I always end up being the leader. Um, but I think that in itself is a lesson for him because he's very masculine. He's very dominant. He has control issues and that's his ego. 
and that's going to be a very hard lesson for him to learn. Um, but I wanted to send that message out because I was reading that book. Let me go grab my phone so I can tell you the name of the book again. Um, I'm going to have to get back to it. So the name of the book, because this has helped me a lot. This has helped me a lot. And um, so the name of this book, again, is Twin Flame Codebreaker. Okay. Um, by Dr. Harmony. Okay. And, um, it has shed a lot of light on a lot of questions that I've had. So if you're new, like me, I just started last year and it's weird because I see people who've been doing this for years and I just feel like I just started last year, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I got thrown in it. <laughs> I got thrown in it on a fast track. <laughs> okay. Um, so, but anyways, so, um, these are the daily messages that I will be doing. I will be updating you on my journey because again, like I said, I did get clarity in that book that when I told you a long time ago that I felt like I needed to share my story, um, that's part of the journey. People will learn from me and I will help others. And that's the whole point. That's why I didn't monetize my channel. And, um, I think right now, I don't even know if this is, um, what I'm saying, like my mission, like YouTube. I've said that before. I don't feel like it. I mean, I kind of feel like it is, but I don't know yet. Um, because I'm in my other business, um, flourishing, uh, so I don't know, it's weird, but, um, I mean, I guess I'll get clarity on that. I'm just going to listen. The only thing I can do is listen to my intuition, right? <laughs> listen to my soul. All right. So this reading is going to be for twin flame journey. Okay. So this is going to be for DMs and DFs. Um, I didn't want it to be strictly about twin flames but that's the direction that i'm headed because my life is centered around that right now and everything i do is you know involving that that's what my channel needs to be about um so this is daily guidance for the twin flames for august 3rd 2018 and I did get, I am getting my postcards from Spirit today in the mail. Um, and I will be uploading videos this weekend. My kids will be here. Um, it is my weekend for my kids. So um, I will have them this weekend. Um, and um, I will have them this weekend. But So the videos will come out, but they will be... Um, small they will be short okay because I don't like posting videos where my kids are screaming in the background I just I don't like that at all um I don't feel like it's fair to you when I'm trying to deliver a message and you're trying to focus or maybe you're not having a good day I just don't feel like that's appropriate um <clears throat> okay so the guidance for today is express yourself through creative activities um, and, um, one of my clients <laughs> yesterday was talking about my scrapbooking stuff, which I felt was so funny because I love to scrapbook. I'm actually going to scrapbook with my kids this weekend after I take them to the beach and I have some other things planned. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I, what are you guys going to do? Because this is what you need to do. This situation involves your past life memories. Well, we know that. Thanks, Spirit. <laughs> the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Okay. Prosperity. And she's dumping money. So don't worry about money. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Some people may be leaving karmics. 
I feel like that is pertaining to. Alright, Spirit, what messages do you want to give us today for the Twin Flame journey from the angels? <laughs> I feel like somebody is having some kind of doubt or something and not listening to my... Um, guidance prioritize focus on your highest priorities i will help you get organized and motivated archangel metatron i just read about metatron in that book i'm reading <clears throat> healthy lifestyle eat a healthy diet get adequate sleep and exercise we had this card yesterday somebody's not listening Outdoors, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to release, relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Even if it's just sitting on a bench. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Nurture your children. I did clear all these decks, by the way. Um, clear them. This one is so tough because <laughs> it's new. I don't use it a lot. But I like it. I like it. I'm just not called to use it all the time, but now I am. All right, Spirit. So what do you want to tell us? for today for the twin flames what do you want to tell us for today Giving is receiving. The energy of the universe is merciful. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. So what I feel like this means is that I feel like a lot of us are having these serious conversations with each other, with our DMs and DFs, and I feel like try to relax you know, let that anxiety and that fear and that doubt and that worry go because number one, that's low vibration. And number two, this journey isn't supposed to be, you know, miserable. It's supposed to be enlightening. It's supposed to be awakening. It's supposed to be loving. Remember that, okay? I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. I feel like this talks about ascension, union, um, our life path, our journey. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Okay. My courage gives birth to the divine. Well, of course it is because when you're courageous, you will progress and move forward. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. I feel like this is saying the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. This, this is saying you're, you put your energy into everything that you create. So in everything that you do, you're spreading a little bit of your light. Right? Remember that. When you help someone, you're giving them energy. When you um, motivate someone, inspire someone, you're giving energy. When we do these readings, we give you our energy. Okay. 
Now, <clears throat> I am going to do three cards, the Desire, Fears, and um, Life Lesson for today out of these cards. I wasn't going to use tarot decks for these reads, but Spirit said, yes, I need to use this one and this one. This was a deck that I was called to use too, by the way. So this is a sexual deck, but I feel like um, this is a s sexual deck. I'm called to put that there. Okay. So, but I feel like it has very loving and good guidance and I connect with this deck too. Okay, so for overall energy, we have the lovers. Okay. The lovers. <coughs> and for some reason, <clears throat> I'm not getting out of this card that this represents for some, this is representation of a third party. For others, this is rep representation of yourself, meaning the divine masculine is more, is wanting to see this side to you, right? You opening up and being free with him. And some of you are like this, but he's looking for you to be this, right? Trust him and open yourself. Maybe some of you are victims of sex abuse, sexual abuse, and it, that's hard for you. I'm picking, I'm just picking that, and these are the messages. <clears throat> Nature is an unerring guide. Plants and animals are examples to be imitated. Magic perfume seduces and sustains us in important sentimental choices. The lovers, okay. Perfume. Basically, when your divine masculine smells your perfume, even if he wasn't with you, if he gets that scent and he wasn't with you, that would release uh, serotonin, everything in his brain, remind him of you. Um, that's why I feel that this says talks about perfume because perfume is important. Um, and I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but I have a psychology degree, so that helps. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so your desires is the Knave of Swords. Biting. Biting. Enemies of the couple are both inside and outside of it. They should look at each other. Vigilance does not distract from pleasure and pleasure does not distract from vigilance. Basically, you desire to look at each other and you desire to heal this relationship, but you're not looking at each other right now. Some people may not be talking they may be in a bad place right now. Uh, that's basically saying you need to talk. <laughs> um, okay, so then we have the two of chalices. This is your fear. Involvement. Tenderness attraction, affection, and collaboration, you can seduce by leaving yourself open to seduction. So some people are scared of this physicality. And that makes sense. I was picking up a sex abuse victim. That makes sense. And that is something that you need to heal within. Um, in order for you to progress, that needs to be healed. Right. 
understand that that was not your fault and and all of that this is the life lesson <clears throat> that you are supposed to learn which is the chariot <clears throat> Conquest. To conquer a rival, you must change tactics and perspective. Faking a retreat and then staging a forceful surprise attack. Wow. So, if this is, again, the message for that person, you didn't stand up for yourself. And that person, you want to get justice over this situation. And Spirit is telling you, plan a retreat and then boom. <laughs> Obviously, not harming that person, but I feel like the messages that I'm getting right now is in order for you to completely heal, you have to know that that person is going to get just, or you are going to get justice. So you know what to do. You know what to do. a deep read um and for others also for general i know some, I, try, I try to make it general but sometimes i just get things um for others um okay i'm getting that some the also that reading was also for the divine masculines that or in a third party situation that are maybe scared to come in you know come to their feminine because they're married and they don't even they're doubting the journey and they're like what the hell I can't do this this is insane yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. I know um so if you have any other questions or concerns um email me below or um comment like and subscribe so diana spirit wanted me to pick this card up uh look at the bottom of the deck the language of the natural world is a frequency of love this is my mother tongue and maybe someone watching is named diana okay um see you guys tomorrow